Doesn't taste like bong water. <laughs> it does not taste like bong water. What up? Hemp, hemp products, hemp seeds, hemp potions, hemp lotions. Uh, should I keep going? No. Okay, good. We get asked about this topic a lot, and it's what we're going to cover today. I think a lot of people are confused. They know that there are all these health benefits to hemp. They've heard about it. They've read about it. But they don't know quite how uh, to incorporate it in their daily routine. But they're all aimed really at the same thing, the endocannabinoid system, the ECS. I, I think there's, so there's been research to show that uh, you know our endocannabinoid system essentially acts like an uh, internal regulator. So it helps regulate the systems that run your body. So your central nervous system, your immune system, things like that. There's two receptors within your body uh, that scientists have discovered so far, your uh, CB1 and your CB2. And uh, essentially what these products do when you put a cannabinoid like CBD, there are other cannabinoids, but like CBD, they stimulate those uh, receptors and it can have a profound impact on your health. Just a disclaimer up top, uh, you know, we have a lot of products here. We don't really have an affiliation uh, or a uh, debt to any of these products. For this one. Um, it's ours. We're just going to kind of talk about these types of products and use these as sort of an example of what you could see if you bought it off of Amazon, bought it online, or bought it at a, uh, at a shop. So let's talk about what we have here, what these products are aimed to do, uh, how they do it, the dosage, all that jazz. So let's start with, I'd say tinctures are, are probably the most confusing, um, very popular these days. So tell us about what this is and, and, and what it's supposed to do. Yeah, so with a tincture or with an oil, essentially what you're getting is a CBD infused oil. There may be other elements in there uh, to flavor it, uh, but for the most part, this is, this is the easiest way to get CBD into your system orally and, uh, and be able to control the amount that you put yes. in there. So this one's 250 milligrams of CBD in this this uh, jar mm -hmm. has green tea mango and, and ginger ginger we're a big fan of so very good so there's a lot of additional stuff going on in there to add those health benefits and 250 milligrams is a rather small amount of CBD uh, to, to be the, in there but you can you can basically if you're willing to pay more get a higher concentration of it but what CBD can do for you when you take it this way you know studies have shown that it can help with inflammation it's helped with anxiety some folks who are dealing with addiction will use this. It's a good way to uh, stave off their addiction or their cravings for what they want. There's a lot of things going for it. Um, and the other thing is, you're going to notice here when we open this up. So within the dropper, people are, I think, most intimidated because they have they have no idea, like, okay, do I take the whole thing? Do I take a little bit? Half what? So on there, there's going to be most often little little uh, indicators that tell you, you know, 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.5, uh, 0.75, and then the full uh, dose of your uh, CBD. If you're just getting started out, and this is a good time to mention that we are not doctors, so before you do anything, you should consult with your physician, say, I'm thinking about taking this thing. Is it going to conflict with my medications, whatever? If you're getting started, what most uh, medical experts that we've talked to are saying is start on the bottom rung. Take that dropper, start with just the smallest amount, try it out, wait a couple hours, wait a couple days, do this, and, and see what it does for you before you increase the amount. Yeah, and so we should say here that there's, you know, there's a lot of CBD products on the market right now, so it's very important that you know what you're taking. So this cream, I met with the CEO of that company last week, totally trust them, have seen their research, have seen a lot of their, their facilities. The uh, the pill, we know these this company very well, know the folks behind this uh, extremely well. So tell us the difference between a, you know the tincture and, and the pills in this bottle. Sure, yeah, so with a capsule, you're gonna essentially get the same benefits, uh, but you're gonna get maybe more targeted benefits. So with a capsule, you're taking this orally, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna get a pretty quick absorption into your system uh, and it's going to be tackling and usually we'll say on the bottle what sort of things it's tackling. It's just like taking any other kind of pill or supplement. Um, so here's the downfall of it. You're going to not be able to control as much the dose that you're getting of CBD in there or not control as easily. So this is, is 20 milligrams per pill where we had 250 milligrams per bottle 
of, of the tincture so you can control it. So you can, you can make it about equal or you can take more of the, the tincture or, or less of it. With a capsule, you're very often going to have additional elements. That's what you always, always read the label and see what's inside, uh, what's inside here. You know, if you're taking something that's targeting you, uh, it's supposed to help you with sleep or help you with calm, there may be melatonin, there may be another kind of natural calming agent that's in there. Uh, so you're not necessarily just getting the effects of the CBD. Um, but you know that's okay. You know there's a lot of multivitamins that go go after doing a lot of things for your body, and this is just following the same principle. Real quick question for you. So when you tasted the CBD uh, tincture, the oil, can you describe a little bit? What did it taste like? What did it feel like? For me, it's the the green tea. It's a little oily, um, but it, it dissolves pretty quickly, goes away pretty quickly. The, the green tea is you know to to use wine terms, it's very forward. Um, I couldn't say, you know, I taste CBD, that, that, that's kind of hard to say, but that, I think that green tea in there and that, that ginger and the, the mango really gives us a, a good fruity flavor. So people have probably in their head, if they've never tried any of these products, they have in their head that they're going to take something that's a hemp product that they're supposed to put in their mouth and it's going to taste greeny, earthy, yeah. uh, hempy. Uh, I, I couldn't, that couldn't be further from the truth. It doesn't taste like bong water. <laughs> it does not taste like bong water. So um, let's go with the, the cream. So here so, again, I met with the CEO of this company. This is just a little trial size, just a basic CBD cream. And, and this one's, uh, you know, pretty thick, but you can rub it on, um, you know, anywhere, anywhere that ails you. But so, so talk about, you know, just kind of a basic cream with, with that team that sure yeah so it's important to know sort of what studies have been done and what things have been uh, what things have been discovered about CBD applied topically uh, as you could probably guess CBD has been used uh, and has been studied for its ability to fight surface pain and inflammation on your skin uh, and there are studies that show it's been quite effective um, not a lot of human studies have been done yet so you're basically uh, just asking people hey is this working for you um, but there have been some very exciting animal studies that have been done there was one that was done in the uh, European Journal of Pain, I believe, uh, and it basically tested um, arthritic, I want to say rats or mice, but it tested them uh, with a uh, CBD gel. And over the course of four days, uh, they had noticeable reduction in the amount of uh, pain that they were experiencing. I think it's important, BF. real quick, to mention that the FDA does not allow anybody to market CBD to, to, to you know, they can't say that it, it fixes any disease. It's not aimed at any disease. So um, if, if something says pain on it, there has to be another ingredient that the FDA allows or, or they're flat out breaking the, the law. So I think that takes us to, to uh, ProRestore CBD Plus. Talk yep. about that. Yeah, so this is our product. So uh, we've we've uh, we've worked for a couple years now bringing this together. We've worked with uh, doctors, formulators. We spoke to a chemist, uh, you know, to pull this together. But it essentially, like you were saying, uh, it doesn't just lean on CBD uh, to do the job. So this thing has uh, camphor through peppermint oil uh, that that allows it to uh, to kind of really give that refreshing which, feeling which is a, a proven FDA pain reliever so it, it I mean it has that right at the right at the top you know it really is there's a there's a number of essential oils in here but it's really the trifecta of the main ingredients that are that are what makes it special um, so we do have CBD through the hemp oil that's in here and we have the uh, uh, camphor as well as uh, New Zealand manuka honey we've heard uh, you had poison ivy we heard from mm -hmm. some folks that have bought it the poison ivy it seems to relieve the itch and help it heal fairly quickly so there's a plus i think that's the manuka honey you can probably see the the hives back there i'm a big fan of honey as a, a topical agent it has antibacterial antibacterial properties so tying that into a, a skin cream just made sense for us yeah and so a, a, a good lotion is going to target those things that we just discussed uh, but you know bringing it bringing it all back home the important thing is to know where the product's coming from. So I went to the gas station uh, yesterday to pick this up. And they had a whole counter back behind the, you know, right above the cigarettes um, for their, their CBD. It's really interesting. Um, I didn't notice if you had to be 18 or 21 to buy it. I, I don't get carded anymore. <laughs> um, but so Floyd's on the go. It's Floyd's of Leadville for $3.99 for this pack. So by far out of all these, except for maybe the hemp seed, it's the cheapest. I mean, we have everything from uh, you know, $100, $60, $60, $50 for the, I uh, sound like an auctioneer, uh, for the cream. But then this is $3.99 for, for some gummy. So talk about a gummy um, that has 50 milligrams of CBD per pack. So 10 milligrams per gummy. Yeah, so 10 milligrams of CBD, 
This isn't necessarily a replacement for anybody's uh, medical routine, okay? This is kind of being sold in gas stations and uh, grocery stores sort of for the curiosity factor. People know what CBD is. Very They're good. kind of fun. Uh, and, and that's kind of all it is for you. So you're going to get some of the health benefits that we talked about, but what this really is, is this is kind of just, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, but the gummies are becoming a bigger and bigger delivery system. They're, they're a little faster than a, a pill. You know, a pill has to dissolve and then spread out through your body. Tincture is definitely the fastest. So the, the gummies in between there, uh, somewhere and it has a lot of sugar mixed into it. So it's tasty and, and you can say it has other effects on the, on the body with the sugar, getting things. Uh, stimulated and going so there's it, it, there's efficacy behind the, the gummies but it is a, a novelty uh, delivery system for sure I'll it say tastes like, good yeah I was gonna say like uh, if I was going to be between uh, whether I should have a Swedish fish or have a uh, have a gummy I, I suppose I could get more out of taking the gummy yeah it's worth that's it. that is the problem in it you don't want to eat a whole bag of, of CBD gummies um, you don't want to eat a whole bag of uh, Swedish fish I guess either but um, you know, you Try and to, stop me. You have to be careful, you know, how much you're taking. There are some anecdotal, I guess it's, it's proven scientific that too much CBD can have some effects on the, uh, the liver. Um, We're talking about doses in the thousands of milligrams. Very, very high. So, I mean, you got to watch that. You know, I've here so far, I've taken a tincture and eaten one of those. I'm all right. Um, but you know, you don't want to, you don't want to overdose. You don't want to eat a gallon of gummies in a day. If, uh, if gummies aren't your thing, uh, we have these, uh, these, uh, hemp seeds. Yeah. So good news and bad news on these guys. Yeah. So let's be clear. All of this is, is kind of new to the market in the last year or so. Hemp seeds have been around for a while. So yeah. why is that? Yeah. So hemp seeds, uh, contain trace amounts, if that of CBD. In fact, you're not really going to get a lot of stimulation of your endocannabinoid system, but I want to highlight them here because that there actually is a ton of health benefit though. And that's the reason why you probably have seen hemp seeds, you know, at a GNC or at a vitamin store or a sports store. Um, you know, it's tough to see here, but it essentially looks like couscous, uh, if you, if you like couscous, but it's, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is hemp seeds. They've been shelled. They're pretty soft. They have kind of a nutty taste. Um, but, this is really just a great source of protein, uh, as well as uh, healthy fats for, for heart health. So omega-3s, omega-6s, you'll get these in here. It's honestly just a great thing to like, you know, have and snack on if you don't want to, yeah. you know, fill yourself up. Yeah, good for the body, but but the, the EC, ECS system or ECS, there, there's not a whole lot of effect to that. Again, you know, no THC for sure. Very, very, very little CBD, no effect there, but a good source of protein and, and just a, a, a healthy, healthy food. All right, so I mean, we, we've seen there's a, a lot of different uses, a lot of good news. Um, this is all very new, so there's a lot of information to be learned. You can see this is something I'm super passionate about. You know, got behind, uh, uh, partnered up for the uh, Pro Restore, gonna grow it here on our farm. We have some really big plans that my wife and I were discussing this week to, to grow hemp here. I think it's one of nature's best medicines, and we haven't talked about it for 80 years because it's kind of been outlawed, and now we're starting to see that that was pretty silly. So we've got a ton of videos on this. We have a ton more. Um, we're really excited, so I, I don't know if we can uh, say cheers, but I don't think we're going to be able to cheers, so bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you liked the episode today. If you have any questions about products or you want us to highlight different products in the future, go ahead and leave those in the comments and we'll be happy to get to it. Um, but as always, be sure to subscribe and uh, share this video with a friend.